This is Andy with ModernMilitaryHistory.com, Modern Military History Podcast on YouTube, as well as Modern Military Gaming, the new second channel. We're here today with John Stryker Meyer, SOG veteran, uh, awesome guy, ultimate badass. Um, we're here today to talk about a new project you've been working on. John, tell us about what you've been doing. Well, thank you, Andrew. Uh, it's really a pleasure to be here tonight to talk about this because... Um, I've learned over the last year, one of the unique ways of getting stories out to the general public can be through video games. And for the, for the last two years, uh, myself and uh, Ken Bore, who was a fellow RT Idaho 1-0, Ken's been working almost three years with Savage Design LTD in the UK. And it's been a top secret project and uh, working on a game is called SOG Prairie Fire. And it's going to be put out under Arma 3 with a first edition. It should be out before the end of the week, I'm told, according to reliable sources. So between now, tonight, May the 3rd, 2021 AD, and May the 8th, 2021 AD, adios dominus, the... Um, this game will go on sale, and it is a game that over 120 artists and experts from music, helicopters. In addition, uh, over the last six to 12 months, we've added people like fellow one zero Jim Shorten Jones, and he ran recon out of Contoon. And he has added some of his story, some of his background. We have a helicopter pilot, Don Haas, H-A-A-S-E, who's a member of the board of directors for the Special Operations Association. But more importantly, in the Vietnam War, he was a door gunner with the 195th. That sole assignment was SOG. And they, ran, they flew missions out of Contum and CCS. They were all over the place. They lost a lot of good men supporting SOG. And they're um, one of the premier helicopter groups that served SOG for a long time. And they are amongst others that have been working. And then we have Dick Thompson, who um, ran Recon. And if you ever listen to Jocko podcast number 205, it's one of the most amazing stories you ever hear from a recon guy. And uh, in fact, after I listened to it, I felt like I was a wimp because Dick's story is just so amazing. So anyways, this game has come together. It's an opportunity. We already have several veterans groups that have signed on to test the game, that have approved the game. And then a special note on a personal basis for me with the first, there's a threshold of sales of this game. After they reach that certain threshold, the um, Savage Design will be making a donation to the SOA that will go to the SOA for its members and help them. And they've also had composers who have written music for this SOG Prairie Fire game. And that music will go on sale shortly. And every sale will include a small donation to the SOA and the SOA and uh, Rob Graham, who is the running point for Savage Design on this, they've reached an MOU where it puts that formal agreement in place for at least three years and maybe more to make the donations to help the SOA to help our SOA members. So we're excited about the game. I'm personally not a big gamer, but my stepson is. And he served in Iraq as a scout. He was uh, seriously wounded in August 2005. He has seen some of his game, as has Don Haas and a few of our other members. And they all enjoy it. They enjoy the authenticity of it, how it pays homage to SOG Recon and to the uh, fearless aviators that supported us. And you get the feeling of what it's like to be in a helicopter on a gun run. 
you'll feel what it's like to be in an F4. And from our perspective, you get a little bit of feeling of what it's like on the ground as a team member for a SOG. So I'm excited about it. All of our men are. And, but more importantly, I think, as you've alluded to, this is one more way to get our story out to new generations of people who play games, but they also, I hope, will appreciate a game that's based on fact. Because, you know, here you won't see SOG men running around firing a thousand rounds and never reloading their magazine. If they run out of 20 bullets or 18, they're going to have to reload. You'll see them reloading. You'll see the hand grenades go out. And when our guys get wounded, they're wounded. None of this game, like the earlier video games, where you get shot and you die a thousand times, but I just jump up and die again. No, no, no. If you die here, you're done, unless your team tries to drag you back, if they can. So it pays homage to SOG, and it's really outstanding, and we're excited about it. I encourage you to encourage all your viewers to share that good news, and uh, more importantly, I hope you enjoy the game and the history therein.